Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, just a quick update on the videos. Um, as you can see, the Imperator is going to town on some Nori. That thing is like a pig. Um, as you can see how big he is. It. I have no idea how to sex these fish. But uh, Taren, I just came home from work. And this thing is just destroying this nori. But he eats like a pig. And then the um, Xanthrus is in the uh, quote-unquote shark cage running around. I put some nori in up there. I don't know if you can see that. I kind of wedged it in at the top. No idea if he'll stay there. But the cage is uh, bottom and top above the water. So even if he does pull it out of there, it can't go anywhere. And then I threw in... Some frozen food, as you can see, it's circulating up at the top. Um, that way, the uh, the angel gets all the food, and then I don't know why it keeps zooming in and out. It's or I'm sorry, focusing in and out, and then uh, whatever the angel doesn't want or can't eat will go down through the cage holes. And uh, yeah, you're still still going crazy over that nori. <laughs> this fish i swear to god so i'm enjoying the shark cage deal um for the most part the imperator uh completely ignores the uh, xanthrus angel um i see no issues here so far um uh, planning on as as long as everything goes uh, goes well um tomorrow maybe Thursday for a little uh, little release action. All I gotta do is uh, cut the zip ties holding this in place on my 210 and then we will release the angel into the wild. Um, I'm pretty happy with the footprint. Um, just standard egg crate, uh, did little clear food bowl which works out great for pellets because uh, otherwise they'll fall right through the cracks and it's about the size of a five gallon which I end up having to have so I measured it against the tank and it works out just fine. Um, not sure what we're going to put in the uh, quarantine tank over here. Um, Maybe a Coral Beauty, maybe if I could find one, if the store still has it, African Flame Back. I love those things. Um, although I did, if no one else has seen it, uh, there's an article from Reef Builders on them opening up the trades from Hawaii, which means Potter's Angels could potentially be available again. And those things are fantastic, especially the all blue variants. Um, oh, just a quick background too on the Xanthrus Angel. My, uh, my buddy at the local fish shop who <laughs> I ended up, I stole him from the shop and now he works at my company. Um, <laughs> I feel bad for them, but Hey, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. He called me up one day and he says, uh, I got uh, a list of angels and he gave me this list. Um, the Xanthrus was one of them. Um, I really like the Singapore Angels, and the Xanthrus is super close to it. We have a local fish shop here in Omaha that does have a Singapore Angel, but is already known for eating Kenya tree. And of course, you know, I've got my big um, purple pink Kenya tree on the left over there, and then I have my super awesome neon green Kenya tree down here in the middle. And I am not about to put a known coral eater into this aquarium. Now, that's not to say that these angels in the future can't develop a taste for uh, Kenya tree or anything, but I'd rather start first from the beginning than put something terrible into the aquarium that's, that, you know, knows what it's doing. Um, <laughs> so... Uh, we got that, and he's doing excellent, running around, eating like a champ. Um, loves that nori, absolutely loves that. That's why he keeps going up to the uh, top of the tank, because that's where I put the nori at. He's completely ignoring the frozen food that's floating around over there, completely. And I say it, and then he runs over to it. Okay, so... <laughs> Um, but yeah, so that's where we're at with that. Uh, was really hoping for uh, Harold's, uh, the false lemon peels. Uh, I like the mustardness of them. Uh, they do have uh, true lemon peels at the uh, fish shop, but I don't know. I just, I like that mustard yellow versus that, that, that kind of, you know, lemon yellow 
uh, of it. So we'll see what happens. Um, other than that, we will talk to you guys later.